Today I want to share with you by far one of the coolest things I've ever gotten and it is the Elemental Blocks and it's by this really really great company Uncle Goose and as you could see each block you know it's shaped like a standard block but it has the table of elements on them and I, I want to share with you some of the fun ways we could play with it of course you know if you have kids they like to build knock it down and that's totally cool they're getting exposed to elements and for the young but you know for the younger kids here we've created so many different ways I'll just share with you and the first way is number recognition 86 it's an even number then we have 61 it's an odd number so just here number recognition I know this is not the purpose of the blocks but it's totally cool another way is letter recognition capital A lowercase g and then the funny thing is like have them read the words to them well this is easy silver but when you have some you know of the harder ones like Neptunium and the kids are actually walking around and, oh NP is it's just really really cute to see so this is the way we would use it here for the younger kids as the kids get older as you know I have a play based program and this is just a really really fun way to introduce the elements what I would do is, is gather all the blocks put it in a grab bag shake up the bag and you know have the kids close their eyes and pick out a block now this will be a year project and this is totally amazing and I'm just going to show you how we do it over a year first there are six sides to the block so every week or every other week depending on the kids the class if they're working solo or with groups whatever the case is have them present an element and what the element is used for and it could be very simple it could be like really a 10 15 minute well that's a lot but um a five minute presentation maybe just again you have all of these blocks so the whole class does it and over the course of a week you know you spend the first month researching the elements with the kids helping them out and they're just gonna kind of learn the elements and within two three months the whole class would have gone through the elements now as the child chose the child is left with one block they've already introduced six elements and now here's where we take the choices away and kind of um, give them the opportunity to learn something new because once they've discovered all the elements and introduced it now let them choose one element and do a massive research project on it for example silver you know silver happens to be an easy one because most well many people have jewelry in silver so they can kind of do something from a fashion perspective um, so you're just giving the kids you know an opportunity to do something different carbon is also a fun one because you you know it's just a fun gas and you could do all you know all sorts of things with it so you know I mean I, I don't I can go on and on with the different elements and how the kids can learn from it oh argon that's a fun one also I mean there's just so many great elements copper wires it could be a little add history to this one you know how wires evolve from where they were back then to where they are today I mean the, the the sky's the kids limits and this is just a fun way to kind of again you're making them choose a die and so they're kind of limited to six but at the same time they're not limited to six because they could really work on what they have and so this is definitely a must have for a classroom for older kids you know at the high school age level most kids are not playing with blocks but guess what your kids will be so th these are great I'm not only going to leave you the link to these amazing blocks you know in the comment box below but I'm also going to leave you the link to the website because there's more than just the table of elements on their website and there are so many ways you could learn with blocks and I would definitely check out Uncle Goose and all of the innovative ways he has when it comes to education and wooden blocks. If you like this video and want to see more of what we do in the classroom, out of the classroom, play-based education, definitely check out my Patreon page below. Um, and if you just like this video and want to see more fun ways to play to incorporate it to your homeschool, because yes, if you have a homeschool, guess what? You have all of these blocks. And again, there are so many elements. And as you can see, look how many there are. You know, I keep showing you different blocks. So definitely, you know, if you're a homeschool mo mom and you have more time on hand, well, have your kids choose two blocks, kind of do a brief study on all of the um, elements and then have them choose one or maybe they can make up or they feel they would interact together and make up a, you know, a thesis and let them prove it or disprove it based on their research. So this is so educational, so much fun. I would highly recommend you check out these element blocks, both for your classroom, your homeschool,
for little kids, this is a set, again, that could grow with me. You have numbers, you have reading, you have letter recognition, and then later on you actually have the elements themselves. Definitely check out, you know, check out these blocks. Like the video, subscribe. I'm here for my kids, I'm here for the kids in my play-based education, and I am most definitely here for your kids. Happy playing.